the video I'm about to play for you is a very uh, interesting video from Mike Todd, where he's actually just uh, copy pasting a whole sermon and uh, just preaching. I understand that definitely, maybe if you have, uh, uh, should I say, like fathers that you're looking up to, definitely, if you listen to a father and a son, maybe a spiritual father and then the son, uh, definitely there's always something that actually connects them together. You might, uh, the, the, the language and all that might actually be familiar. But you see, for Mike Todd, this has been an allegation, like uh, it has been ongoing, like there was a time I remember there were there were claims and allegations. I never did that video, but I saw it where people are saying that he was actually uh, copy pasting Miles Monroe, the late. But right now, this one is very interesting. So I'll ask you to watch uh, until the end of the video because Mike Todd himself is saying some very shocking things on how he actually prepares for his sermons or preachings. It's very very shocking what he's saying. So. Let me, let's get in the video and then after this we'll just definitely get back and then just have a look at it so let's um, go let me give you one more illustration um jason steve and todd will, will you guys stand up hey uh charles will scott come here real quick last analogy <laughs> we go home uh, i'm gonna give you an illustration let's say that i say to these three men i'm, I'm gonna go away for a while and um and i've provided for debbie but i want to provide some additional funds for her but I want to channel or funnel those funds through you three men. So I'm going to send all, each of you $10,000 a month, okay? Jason, don't get that excited. This is just an illustration. Um, okay. <laughs> um, let's say I'm going on a trip. Oh, and, my um, God. I'm going to be gone for an extended period of time. Y'all come right here. I'm going to come I'll be gone for an extended period of time, and um, I want to provide for Natalie, my wife, and... Um, I'm taking care of her, but I want to provide some extra finances just in case she gets in a spot. Um, and I'm going to give each one of y'all $10,000 every... Hold on. It's just an example. Same okay? amount of money. Just an example. Goes. Scott, calm down. <laughs> so, uh, I'm talking to Debbie Everett, and I say this to, to you, but I want you to give Debbie 10% of it, $1,000 a month. And you can keep the 90%. Just give my wife 10%. So I'm talking to Debbie every day and, and letting her know, you know, it's an extended trip, but I'll be back in several months. I have to be gone. And after about three months, I, I think about these other funds. And I say, hey, how are the funds coming in from the, the three guys? You know, and uh, she said, well, uh, Jason sends $1,000 a month. Just like you said, as a matter of fact, it arrives like January 1st, February 1st. I mean, he's like clockwork, $1,000. So good, good job. Okay. I'm going to provide $10,000 extra for her through all of you and all i want you to do is give her a thousand dollars each time i send you <laughs> the ten thousand dollars the other nine you can keep you do whatever you want to do with it but i just want to give you um that money okay and what if i talk to my wife every night what's up baby how you doing oh i miss you caking y'all remember caking okay cool <sighs> so i'm i'm talking to her and i'm like hey you remember those finances that um i was gonna have charles and uh, Will and Scott give to you? How's it been going? She's like, yeah, so um, Charles sends $1,000 every 1st and 15th, like clockwork. It's like $1,000, $1,000, like it just keeps coming. I'm like, okay, that bet. Um, I said, well, what about Steve? <laughs> so, well, Steve is sending 2000 a month. 2000 a month? I, I didn't ask him for 2000 a month. I just asked him for 1000 a month. I know. I said, well, why is he sending 2000 I don't know. He just sends $2,000 a month. I said, what about Will? Will, for some reason, sends 2000 <laughs> I was like, what? I was like, I just told him to send 1000 I know, but every 1st and 15th, he sends 2000 And it's just been consistent all over. I said, well, what about Trader? Uh, Todd, sorry. <laughs> Todd. <laughs> I said, what, 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 what about Todd? She said, well, we, we need to talk about Todd. I said, well, why? What, what's Todd doing? Well, the first month he sent 700. The second month, 400. And this last month, he didn't send any. And I was like, <laughs> okay, so what about the thief? I mean, what about Scott? Uh... And he said, well, let's, let's talk about Scott for a second. 
He said the first time he sent 700. The second time he sent five. And this last month, he didn't send anything. And I say, what? God didn't send nothing this last month? He said nothing. <laughs> I said, but I gave him the $10,000. Okay. I want you to think about this. Think about this. How do you think that makes me feel? And I'm giving him the 10000 coming from me. And I just asked him for 10%. Typing. <laughs> he can keep the 90%. Hey, what do, you, what do you think I'm going to do? I'm, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm not going to send him any more money. Because he's proven to me he can't be trusted. Uh -oh. And I'm going to take what I'm giving him, and I'm going to give it to Steve and Jason. Because they've proven they can be trusted. Who would I stop sending resources to? Not you're, you're not a bad person if you don't tithe. You're not a bad person. Not, watch this. Not because he's a bad person. Right. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. It's because he didn't do what I asked to right. be done right. with the resources. Now listen to me very carefully. Tithing might be more personal. Could it be said that tithing may be more personal to Jesus Whoa. than we think? He has the power. And if you say, well, I can't believe you just take it away and give it to the others. If you don't think Jesus would do that, read the parable of the talents. When he took from the one that wasn't faithful and gave it to the one that was faithful. He wants to provide for you. But why would he provide and bless people who will not even be concerned? It's a test. Very important. And if you don't believe that's real, go study the parable of the talents. Yeah. Yeah. Where God literally took from the one who did not do what he asked him to do. Yeah. And he gave it to the ones who weren't. Now listen. Listen to me. This is an example of me trying to provide for my bride. But Jesus calls the church. Um, let me just, just remind you. Is the church the bride of Christ? His bride. Wednesday, I shut everything down. Okay. So Wednesday... First half of the day, I'm just yeah, gathering so this content. Is how I'm he watching everybody now he's because someone's... I get inspired by people who do what I do, and I think this is a lost art in preaching because everybody uh, uh, warns against it because they don't want people to start sounding like people. Can I be hot with y'all, humble, open, and transparent? I don't like studying to preach every Sunday. It is tedious work for me. I start on Wednesday to get to Sunday. And I'm working on Thursday and on Friday and on Saturday, and I'm tweaking up until 30 minutes before service on Sunday. Every week. I hate it. Um, let me give you one more illustration. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, so first of all, that example for tithing right there, uh, for those who believe in tithing, then definitely that's a very, very nice example right there. But I know uh, tithing currently it's a bit controversial to some people. They don't, for some reason, they feel that was a, an Old Testament practice and maybe they don't see the relevance of that in the New Testament. But that is something that we can discuss actually on a later video. This video is not about, uh, it's not about discussing whether, uh, whether we should tithe or we should not tithe. This was just, uh, this video was just to show you uh, on how on how actually Mike Todd prepares these sermons. And you've heard him just say right there at the end of the video that um, he actually is not a fan of these preparation of all these long sermons. Like sometimes he has just to sit down from Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and even Sunday in the morning he's there. He's just uh, wondering exactly what he should pray. You know, this raises uh, a lot of questions. First of all, there's uh, the book of uh, Timothy where it says that a uh, you should study God's word so that you show yourself approved. And just uh, even as a leader, if you are a leader, you are a pastor, I believe you, you are supposed to have first-hand first -hand information of God's word. God should be the one speaking to you directly. I don't know how it is that uh, you, 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 someone else has to go and study 
and then now you come and then now you you're the one who's taking in that and then now you you as now the pastor you're going to copy paste that and then now you're sending it to the crowd because you see for the followers uh, i believe uh people who follow you uh they as as much as they're following you there's something that god there's something that god has for them and then it's coming from you as their leader it's coming from you as their pastor so god is speaking through you to them but now the words that you are going to tell them is not directly yes i know maybe the person that you got the words from are from god and all that but this is not god speaking to you like direct this is not the message that god gave you this is the message that you are able to let me pardon me but let me just say you are able to cram and then now to share it now to these people because you can see that on some of these parts it's actually like a word to word thing it's like a word to word just think about it he said it himself he said sometimes he sits down from wednesday till sunday just to be able to get that message and and uh, if you if if uh, I, I, I wouldn't be able to play for you the other clip because it's a bit long but in that clip uh, on that the first interview where he was seated down on that seat uh, the podcast kind of style there he's where now he was talking about how really he gets now to his preaching and there he's speaking about how he gets to listen to different people and borrows these and text these and text that and all that so i don't know how this sits with you because i believe as a man of god because if i'm in church uh what the man of god is preaching is what god has spoken to him is what he's supposed to uh, it's actually what i'm supposed to receive from him but now if he's going on youtube to get uh, his message then i'd rather just go on youtube and get the message first and i don't know what you think about that i don't know what you think about that but that is how uh mike todd prepares some of these sermons i don't know what you think about this if this if this i don't i don't know i don't know what you think about this but i but so many questions really so many questions about this it has it just gives you a lot of questions about this uh yeah so that's what's up i like to hear what you think about this right there in the comment section but um it's important for us to study god's word for ourselves for you to have first and revelation and information for yourself because definitely god expresses himself different with different people so yes maybe he expressed himself like the manner he did with uh even miles monroe but revelation revelation doesn't stop with that there's still so much more in god so uh, we are not yet supposed to call it quits and then just uh just be all about uh the late miles monroe or, or about the late uh xyz or any any of uh, any because god expresses himself differently with different people but but i can choose to be me i can choose to dare and just take god's word and study and take it out there you never know you never know you never know yo you never know yeah but for mike todd that is how it goes down so i hope you've seen the video but uh, i like to hear what you think about this right there in the comment section yeah and let me know what you think as well about um uh, the concept of tithing what do you think about tithing uh, let me know what you think and let me know if it is something that you can be interested in maybe on a later video we can just uh, actually speak about tithing and speak about kingdom finance as well because tithing uh if you believe in tithing definitely it's linked to kingdom finance and if you don't believe in tithing as well then again it's linked to kingdom finance because definitely the benefits of the tithing won't be benefits that you will reap let me know if that's a video that we can actually um, get to if it's a video that sub a subject that we can get in and discuss more about so see you in the next video if you have not yet subscribed please i'll ask you to hit that subscribe button stay blessed